And if you are heading out and about to any of the evening festivities, you want to be make sure that you are bundled up because we are going to be dealing with dangerous wind chills, not only just tonight, but for the next several days. In fact, over the next week, we could see wind chills as low as 30 degrees below zero. Tonight, wind chills are forecasted to be anywhere between 5 and 20 degrees below zero, and they are already sub-zero at this time. And the bitter cold is going to continue for much of the week ahead. As you can see here, today we do have that cold air across much of the northern half of the country. By Tuesday, though, it starts to shift its way eastward and then retreat back up into Canada briefly for one day. And then another shot of cold air is going to push its way through for the end of the week. So overall, this week, temperatures running well below the average for this time of the year. And as we ring in the new year tonight, if you're going to be outside there in Carlisle, look at this. The temperature at midnight, about one degree below zero. Wind chills will be well below zero. Tomorrow, we are looking at high temperatures only in the single digits above zero. So as we take a look here back to, at New Year's Day um, statistics, you can see here the coldest high temperature was six degrees set back in 1928. We're going to be pretty close to that number. And the coldest low was eight degrees below zero set back in 1968. And we're going to be pretty close to that record as well. So tomorrow might go down in the record books for us. And the average snow depth is about an inch of snow on the ground, which we already have. Temperatures at this time currently 7 degrees in Fairborn, 10 above in Moraine, 4 above in Vandalia, and 11 above in Waynesville. In Dayton right now, 4 degrees. The wind out of the northwest at 6 miles an hour. The pressure is very high at 30.54 inches, and with that wind, it does not take very much here to have a wind chill. In fact, with only 6 miles an hour, it feels like it's 7 degrees below zero at this time. The National Weather Service has issued a wind chill advisory. This runs from tonight all the way through Tuesday morning. Like I said, those wind chill values could potentially be as cold as 30 degrees below zero at times. Tonight, though, generally in the teens to about 20 degrees below zero. This is a look here over the next 12 hours. And here's some safety tips for the extreme cold. You want to make sure that you dress in layers. Be aware that frostbite can occur within 30 minutes or less. You want to make sure, make sure you wear a hat, mittens, and after coming in from the cold, you want to try to drink a warm drink and be aware that hypothermia occurs as the body temperature if it is lowered too much. Also, if you have pets that do go outside for an extended period of time, you want to make sure that you bring them in overnight. Over the next several hours, temperatures continuing to drop to around zero. Satellite shows that we do have some breaks out there, but some clouds moving in right now. So. Those clouds to help, will help blanket us for a little bit longer, but clear skies to the west of us. As we get breaks in the clouds overnight, the temperatures are just going to continue to drop. So overnight tonight, temperatures dropping to about 4 degrees below zero. Even colder tomorrow night, 7 degrees below zero. That could potentially uh, tie or break a record tomorrow night. So tonight, 4 degrees below zero. Wind chills 10 to 20 degrees below zero. Then tomorrow, the wind chills still dangerously cold, bitterly cold temperatures with highs only around 8. Here's a look at that extended four. Forecast as we go through the week, you'll see highs generally will be in the teens, and overnight lows will be in the single digits to the single digits below zero. We may have a chance of a few snow showers on Thursday and Sunday, but bundle up if you're going out tonight. All right, it is a cold New it Year's is. Eve for <laughs> sure. I don't know if I want to.